How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another Car Mechanics Sim 2021 video and in today's video guys we're working on another story mission and actually progressing a little bit further. I am level 6 now. I think I leveled up in the last video. I still have one skill point available uh, and almost 10,000 credits. So I'm gonna go outside accept our first order here. Any bonus ones? Oh bonus credit. Right, I'm gonna accept this really quick. Just because it expires in 21 seconds. I'm going to pull in the Bolt Hornet and take this story order. Oh, hey there. Okay, okay. <clears throat> All right. I think one of the problems with this one when I looked at it is I don't think I have everything to do or to fix it. So, good morning. Would you be able to help me? It's my first car. It might not be perfect, be the perfect car, but it's mine. I've always dreamed about one like this, so I finally managed to save some cash and I started looking immediately. It seems that I might have gotten a bit carried away. I heard that this doesn't bode well. The salesman said that the brakes need repaired, but the rest is in perfect condition. This morning, I heard a banging in the back and it pulls to the right. Okay, suspension then. Uh, I hope it's nothing serious. I'll borrow some cash if necessary, but I hope it's just the brakes. Definitely not, bud. Um, I can't wait to hit the road again. Please do a checkup and replace what you need. See ya. Okay, <clears throat> let's see here then. There's a lot. Fix the front bumper. Should be easy. Drain oil. Good. Refill windshield wash. All right. Well, you know, pretty cool looking Camaro here. Hop in. Interior looks pretty mint. A little bit of staining there. There's no oil in the freaking engine. What the heck? Oh, it's my first V8. Oh, look at her. Oh, look at her. All right. Well, I don't know how we got this here unless he towed it because no oil in the engine doesn't bode well. Like he was saying, well, that didn't take any. Okay. There she starts. No starterino. Don't like that. Um, can I even move this to the... I can't even start it, so I can't go test it, can I? Oh, all right. Let's go to the car wash. <clears throat> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I think this is free. Yep. Doesn't cost us any money. Oh, getting her nice and sudsy. Okay. I don't think this costs us money either. Let's see. It doesn't. Awesome. Let's see if I removed those stains. It did remove the stains. I think. Did it? I think it did. Well, hey, I'm going to be returning him his very first car. Nice and shiny. Except for this front bumper. This front bumper definitely needs to be replaced. All right. Well, I'm going to get this thing transferred to the shop and I'll see you guys over there. Alrighty, back in the shop. Well, uh, I'm gonna pull off the front bumpers to start because, you know, I know that's bad. I, oh, what the heck? This is a little weird here. Probably need to fix this body, but let's start diagnosing what could be possibly wrong with it. I'm gonna run through all of our diagnostics, um, which is gonna be OBD scanners and everything. Also, really, really, really good way to level up and get experience if you guys didn't know. Purchase these tools and, and examination tools and everything like that. Wow, a lot of bad spark plugs, geez. And as it goes through and ticks, you see in the top right there, it's just ticking experience one, experience one, experience one. So I just got like 10 experience from that one alone. And then you do compression tester. Uh, fingers crossed compression test passed because... Bad camshaft, okay. Yeah, that's a lot of experience. So the only thing we have here is a camshaft that's bad, which is really, really good for us to hear, which means you don't have to tear apart the entire motor. Uh, we'll click through the electric multimeter. I think this will test the yeah, alternator starter and fuses. All right, come on. This thing does have a lot more parts to it than uh, I'm used to. I'm used to working on those inline fours. Uh, do a tire tread tester, see if she wants me, or see if it wants me to test this one out. Couple vintage tires, probably all at 70. That is a weird sound. 
all right and last but not least uh fuel pressure let's see let's see if this will do it what makes sense though that the car wasn't starting with those spark plugs being as bad as they were that makes sense i can also see in the back here if you guys look in the back of the suspension um definitely some bad uh lower suspension oh we got a bad fuel rail okay pull that fuel rail off let's see well i'm just gonna start by taking off both coil pack covers and taking a quick look all right so we definitely i definitely can see which ones are bad now that i've examined them which is really really helpful i really want to get a test path but i don't have the money yet to unlock that part of the, the shop 76 9 uh, I'll leave the good one in any bad one okay bad English but I think almost all except for like a handful of the spark plugs were bad okay well definitely these ones are bad and I think the left and right ones look pretty good to me they do I think they also wanted me to refill windshield washer reservoir so let me just refill this while I'm standing here with a jug in my hand I guess pretty convenient all right, yo, bud. Um, let's see here. What else? I gotta check and yeah, I gotta take this off to find out which head is bad or which uh, camshaft is bad. I know it's one of these. Hopefully, it's this right side because the wrenching speed is so slow. Hey, we found it. Uh, let's pull out the radiator and radiator fan housing really quick. Oh my gosh. All right. I got burned on that again. Note to self, guys. Take out the radiator. Or take out... Drink the coolant before you do anything. So I guess this is just going to get me every time now. Wow. I do love the detail in this new game of... The, oh my. It just looks so, so good. Every little itty bitty thing looks really 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 good i'm gonna have to take that head off too aren't i dang it you don't have to take everything off here wow having a wrenching speed of being this slow is actually kind of a pain in the neck with these v8s wow it's wow it is taking quite a while i am gonna take that other head off too All right, get this head cover off. I don't even think this trick works anymore, does it? It doesn't. Oh, especially now when the bolts are locked up. Come on, man. All right, getting you good. Two, three, and a foe. Uh, wow, those cams look really cool. I haven't actually like zoomed in the camshafts ever to look at them. And you know what I just remembered? I think there is, is there performance parts? Tuning shop. Oh, there is. I haven't looked at these yet. Okay, okay. Definitely more pricey. I'm bankrupt myself if I were to try and build one of these right now. Engine head V8 for V6 VQ37 VHR. Wow, that's some, some weird, weird ones. Definitely brought back a lot of the good stuff. Uh, let me find spark plug really quick. Spark plugs were like 0.125. Yep, same thing here, but they rounded it up a little bit. All right. Um, get these belts off. Timing belts are bad condition. Okay um what have i not discovered yet okay well i'm gonna get all of our parts marked here and pulled <clears throat> i think that's good there abs pump looks good oh, i forgot i absolutely butchered the the coolant reservoir i'm assuming the transmission runs fine um, i'm gonna go into examination mode here really quick and take a look See, I can I can check this. Okay, awesome. Cam gear, clutch, clutch, clutch pressure plate. Okay, that was simple. 
I will right, we'll check the front suspension here. I really, really like this method. Uh, someone pointed this out also in the comment section of, I think, two videos ago. You just go up to these suspensions. If you just go up to any stuff like this, you can just click on it and it'll just tell you and you can see it just ticks up. Plus one, plus one, plus one. Uh, looks like we got a bad front wheel hub on this side, actually. Good catch, good catch. Um, rear suspension, I know, is going to be brutal. I'll see if it actually highlights the... I still see bad brakes over there. I wonder if it highlights the bushings. Doesn't look like doesn't look like it highlights the bushings. Let me check the suspension. Bad hub over here. Okay, check this suspension. Good hub. And bad solid rear drive axle. Okay. Uh, get you up in the air. Yeah, no, that's a super, super good way to earn just a little bit of experience. Like, I'm already over 100 and like 40 some experience up on this car, working on this car alone because I've done all these examination methods and everything, and it's just been very, very, very helpful for getting some experience quickly. I even take uh, some of like the quick call in orders for people's, uh, what is it, like oil or refilling any of the fluids. And I just, I'll just sit there just examining the entire car for like five minutes until I have every part and then I'll s refill the oil and send it off. It's actually super easy to do. Uh, looks like I'm gonna take this whole rear drive axle out. I definitely also need to get the pneumatic hammer to pull these out without having to actually individually release them. What are you talking about? Okay. That was surprising those weren't worse for wear. Um, that shock looks fine. I don't see any immediate rust on it. Nothing compared to these springs and spring caps. Looks like this spring bolt will have to come out. It looks like all these U-bolts will have to come out. Drop this plate. Hop over here. Oh, yeah. Was this one over here bad? That one is definitely bad. Okay. So you're taking this on a test path or going on a test drive, if it were to start, you know, uh, it'd be way, 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 way easier. You could just literally test path it. And I think it tells you every single suspension piece that's bad, every single braking piece that's bad. Um, yeah. Tires are still good wear. or still got good wear on them. So should be money. Oh, hub, yeah, definitely the back hub on this is not looking great. I gotta take, yeah, the drive axle and everything else out to get that out. Just pull out the saw and chop it off. All right, that side is done. I think this hub needed to be replaced, so I'll drop this tire out too. That is a bad oil filter, I just realized on our left there. It's a good thing I uh, saw that. I think I have to drain the oil anyway. Oh, yeah, I did. I did add oil, didn't I? All right, I'm going to get this hub pulled out. Uh, bearing's fine, but the hub's bad. That's pretty funny. Yeah, these, these bolts I can perfectly understand needing to use WD-40 on. They are awful. Absolutely terrible. I have had my fair share of actual run-ins with these, uh, with, with rusted hub and, uh, steering knuckle bolts. Uh, use equipment, drain the, drain the liquid gold, I guess. I did have brand new oil in there. Alright, let me highlight this side. Uh, looks like these brakes are 24%. All I know is if all four of these are rusted and that one isn't, someone's not putting the correct amount of anti-seize on or something like that because oh, that is ridiculous. All right, so hopefully after I remove this, I'll actually be able to... Oh, wait, let me check bushings. What is that? 7%. Okay. I think it's pretty much just a given on every single story mission now just to remove bushings. Where is this one at? Oh, there it is. All right, you get out of there. I was about to check and see what our total, our total was at, but let's see, 72% on that one. What the heck? 
Um, I don't think there's any more bushings in the rear here that I can take out. Let's check. Are we... Oh, one part not discovered. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Just gonna say, let me think on this. It's definitely something on the front here. Fuel rail's fine. This is fine. That's fine. ECU's fine. Brake's fine. Looks like our air filter cover's fine. I think flywheel and everything got marked okay, right? Uh, can I check just like a list of the car? Um, information on it? No. Total job payout right now, $18 taking the entire thing apart hmm one part is yet to be discovered what have we not discovered yet hmm I'm not really sure no way it's anything down here right oh man all right well I guess I'm gonna go with the only other thing I can even consider to be bad that I can't immediately see and it's got to be a bushing or not a bushing uh i think a crankshaft piece all right show me the money all of these are fine everything looks absolutely just sparkling okay well nothing under here all right, well, I'm going to go through and try and find out what is wrong, guys. I'll see you guys back here with uh, possibly the car put back together. And fingers crossed, I'll find this part. I'm going to be looking for probably a little bit. So I'll see you guys back here in just a second. All righty, guys. So I got the car put back together and everything. I think it is. I think it's good to go, honestly. Uh, yeah, finish order is green. Um, I'm down to 6,300 credits after that, which is pretty brutal. But uh, let me see here. Okay, let's make sure this bad boy starts up. I'm sure it does, but. Oh, yeah, look at that. One click and boom, she's good to go. Alrighty, oh, I didn't catch this dude's name, did I? Nope. All right, well, your car's, uh, car's good to go. We'll ship you on your way. Dang it. Oh, wow, okay. Well, uh, <clears throat> it's a good thing I'm not an actual mechanic because if I would have just shipped this car out, it would have had no coolant and it would have overheated and it would have thrown a rod. So, <laughs> oopsie. Hey, hey, no one saw anything. Let's go. All righty. Oh my gosh, 4,800 bucks. That is a good amount. So next up, looks like we're working on a Ford Focus. Hey, don't ask what happened to my car. I want to press this one. Girl. Oh, 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 oh. So he like destroyed his car. So we're going to get, we're going to get like a pretty brutally beat up one. I'm assuming. Um, uh, I'm curious if all these markings on this other car are just dirt marks or if it's like paint oxidizing or what is this? All right. Give her the girl a wash. Give her the girl a one, two. Yep. That is definitely just paint oxidation. Do a little interior detail for you, for my guy, real quick. Oh, you got some stains on them seats. Uh, don't know about those, but uh, <laughs> ooh, okay. Uh, oh, actually, I really like the interior of this. Yeah, that's this is really cool. It's a little bit weird, rusty looking stuff, but um, but we're gonna save this one. I'm probably gonna save this one, just do this one, um, on my own, guys. I won't record this because I'm just gonna. Oh, wow, there are dents all over this. Wow. Um, I'm just going to start working on a bunch of cars. I guess we can move this inside to the car lift, and I think I'll expand the garage really quick. Um, garage expansion one. That was 20K. Paint shop, paint shop, customization. I really want the customization. Uh, well, that would be really good too, but we're gonna buy the garage expansion. Oh I'm also level seven. So I have three available skill points. We will increase our, our wrenching speed Yep There we go Now I what's my speed now? 
25 percent oh baby we unlocked the ground okay okay so this is our little expansion here is what they were saying but it looks like we don't have anything out here not even oh come on not even a repair table so we're gonna have to purchase our own repair table and everything and bring it out here what is oh slide hammer okay i see well I know that there's a whole another room over here that we could unlock. I think this is like the storage area, parts area, yeah. Uh, all right, well, that's really, really cool that we actually expanded a little bit. I don't really have anything in there yet, but I will soon. I will soon. But we're going to end the video here, guys. If you guys liked it, if you guys liked the video so far, leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed yet. And thank you guys for watching uh, this episode of Car Mechanic Sim. See you guys.